Hi Vogue, it's me I did a catch and today I'm going to show you guys what I wear in a week so stay tuned, let's get into it. So this is my travel outfit. I am wearing these leggings by Rosetta Getty. My tank top is rag and bone. My jacket is helmet laying. And then my carry-on bag is Isabel Morant. This dope, just cool bag. And then my special traveling blanket. Oh, and this is for your ear pods so that you never lose them. It's by Tapper. And my dope sneakers are a collaboration by an artist called Melody Asani with Jordans. The message on it says, if you knew what you had was rare, you would never waste it. So don't waste time. This. I would wear if I'm about to get off a plane and go straight to set. I used to travel with five, six bags in the start. Now, if I can fit everything in my little carry-on and one of these, I'm good. I pack like one or two sneakers, one or two heels, and then just take clothes that I can wear both day and night. Leggings like this are perfect for comfort and that fashionable look at the same time with the slit at the front which is really cool looks dope with sneakers and heels and then that's just that touch of fashion and yeah so this look right here is my on the go on duty look just a very inexpensive outfit top and pants from Zara. Then I've got my diamonds on. Yeah, still keep it a little. My Isabel Morant glasses. And I would pair it with my Copani cool shaped bag. My shoes are from a store here in LA called Sorella Boutique. And these are my favorite jean one because it's very, very hard to actually find the perfect jean for short and tall girls, right? So my problem is if it fits on the top, they're way too short. If they're long, then they're way too big. They're not super tight on the waist, but they just like a perfect high-waisted fit. My first ever international fashion show was for Saint Laurent. I was nervous, I was excited. I was also in a lot of pain because my foot was swollen from traveling 24 hours from Australia to Paris. But look, we put on some big men's suit shoes and we powered through that runway. <laughs> But it looked good. If you search up the picture, you see the gold dress with those pointy suit shoes. <laughs> I remember just being on like, not even cloud nine. I was in my own little world. I was just waiting for the day to meet Naomi, <laughs> Naomi Campbell. To see her on the runway and I did. She's just as incredible. She came and congratulated me after closing St. Laurent. And then I moved to New York and she just took care of me when I was there. She's like my second mother. I think that accessories can elevate any outfit, like take it to the next level. I love small bags. It's like super small. I don't like medium sized bags for some reason. It either has to be super big or super small. But for this look, I'm just gonna stick to this one. So this right here is my summer look. This is a set from Jacquemus, the bralette, the shorts, and the super dope cropped blazer. Love this look. And then I just paired it with my Prada boots because I'm not wearing high heels during the day. And then I would pair it with my off-white glasses. In summer, we just, you know, obviously shorts because it's hot. A little skin, we like a little skin, right, don't we? You really can't go wrong with a matching set for it. So I have quite a few sets. Some are a lot more dressy, some are a lot easier, some are more casual, day, night. I got a piece for every occasion. Just throw on a shoe, a bag, and we're good to go. I would describe my personal style as easy going, comfortable, but you know, I can still be sexy sometimes. When I need to be, when I'm feeling it, I could be real sexy. Something I didn't know before moving to LA is that it gets extremely cold 
when the sun sets at nighttime. So it's nice to have a jacket on you. And I mean, this I can wear throughout the entire day and then I won't be cold when it gets dark or when nighttime comes. So this is my everyday elevated look. I'm wearing this really dope button up white t-shirt by Nina Ritchie. My super bright orange pants are off white. And then my Air Force Ones, classic. Paired it with a Prada bag, my off white glasses, and then my earrings are by Anita Co. I love me some bright colors. I love these pants so much. I love the cut, I love the design, I love the way they sit, the way they look. I think I've definitely become more of a risk taker when it comes to my style. I went through like different stages. At one point when I was girly, my older sister was more tomboyish and then I became more tomboy or just less girly and then they became girly. Kind of just swapped. I love you guys. Don't hate me, but I think I am the most fashionable one in the family. So this, this right here my everyday baby. Another piece that kind of goes with everything and anything, really. So this is my day to night outfit. My dress is off-white, so the sneakers. My bag is Bottega. So I like to wear this dress during the daytime because of the cool detailing, which just makes it casual, right? What I really love about this bag is that it's super spacious inside and I've actually got my nighttime stuff in here. My bag and my shoes and my accessories. During fashion week, having to go to an after party after a show, throw on some heels with whatever you're wearing and you're good to go. And then my bag is Valentino. And my shoes are filling pieces. I was actually gifted this bag by Pier Paolo with Valentino. We actually collaborated together on my British Fashion Award dress that I wore when I won two years ago. Just saying. So that just goes to show you how you know close and special our relationship is that I'm able to do something like that with a designer. Speaking of after parties, this is my after party look. I mean, you can never go wrong with a little black dress, can you? I actually got this altered to my liking. I cut this, I've got this cut made, made it super tight so that it fit perfect, fit perfect, fit it perfectly. <laughs> I'm making up my own words now. So this dress is by a label, a South Australian label, Finders Keepers. And my shoes, which are one of my favorite heels, Renee Calvia. And my super adorable bright pink bag is by Jimmy Choo. So I definitely cannot do heels all night long. They come off when we get to dinner, they're off the dinner table when nobody can see. When we're at the party, they are off. But a boot I can do all night long. So I've got these super cute, low, black Jimmy Choo. They're giving cowgirl vibes. And they kind of just bring the dress down just a little bit, but still keeping it very sexy. <laughs> Honestly, when you're on the runway wearing high heels, you just feel like you're gonna fall for whatever reason. I've had so many favorite runway moments. It's kind of hard to choose, but one of the most special ones was Chanel Couture Bride. So closing the show as a Chanel Couture Bride is the greatest honor. I was extremely honored when Carl chose me to be his Chanel Couture Bride three years ago, which was very special. I was the second black girl to ever do it. So that was history making moment at the same time, as well as it being an honor and extremely special. So I will always hold that special memory and moment to him. I miss him now, speaking of him. We are going to add a black blazer, which is another essential. So this is my Sunday outfit. My dress is by Aria. My shoes are good old classic Air Force Ones. 
I've still got my needle co jewelry on and I would pair this with my Copani bag. I think ever since moving to LA, I think I've become more of a dress person. I mean, the weather is nicer for dresses, so. Look, we've been stuck in the house for a year plus. It is time to bring on the bling, the colors, the short dresses or the long dresses. Let's just go out and live life. By the end of the year, I wanna say, you can't say we didn't live life. <laughs> this summer, we are outside, baby. The streets are calling our names. We've been in the house for a year plus. So the streets, the bag, and fun is calling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.